Well, hello, Internet. My name is Christopher Nod Walken. Welcome to the Dirty Nerdy Show. Today we have a very special guest, and I mean, oh, my God. This dude is amazing. He just dropped a video today that was bonkers as of, like, recording this. By the time this comes out, it'll already have been up for at least 24 hours. Um, and it was about, like, hot sauce, and it was, like, the best collab I've ever seen in my life, and it was great. Um, he is one of the kindest people in the world, but we'll get to him in a second. Um, we have a guest co-host today, also one of the coolest people I know, and I adore her, and her friendship is, like, the best ever. She's so fun to talk to. Um, welcome, Griff. Thank you. Um, and FamCam ASMR. Chris, it is an honor, buddy. It's, wow. It's... It, Thanks. It's... Just a Chris. <laughs> you too, Chris. <laughs> but Chris brought me here. Mm -hmm. We know how it is. <laughs> yeah, listen. No, we love you. Know, you. <laughs> you get some good parking, and then maybe you'll get the perks that I get, bro. <laughs> so, uh, no. Um, Griff is great. She's she's yeah. she's like one of my best buds, and I adore her. Um, oh. So. My dude, Keith, how did you get into this ASMR thing, my guy? What, what, how did your journey start, man? I know you said that uh, you uh, you started watching years ago, and, and you started like watching people like Maple. Um, yeah, but uh, Maple was the first uh, full-blown ASMRs I've seen. <clears throat> but um, about a year before that, I saw the Game Grumps um, do ASMR, kind of on um their skyward sword playthrough not the full skyward sword playthrough but the april fools one they did in 2016 um it was when they did all face cam and they didn't show the actual gameplay footage unless you peeked into the mirror behind them there's like a frustratingly small amount of gameplay footage <laughs> through it and uh there was a brief moment where they're doing asmr in a kind of jokey way and it be because it was my first impression of it i didn't really get it but as much as I love the Game Grumps, but about a year later, um, one of my other favorite YouTubers, um, Review Tech USA, who is known for doing game reviews, um, tech reviews, and tech and gaming news, mm -hmm. he is not an ASMRist, but he's done a couple <laughs> ASMR videos because he's a fan of ASMR. He's been watching ASMR since 2012 to help him fall asleep and help him relax. So he uh, put up a, a video where he, um, he unboxed this thing right here, the NES Classic. and um, Just showing off that you have an NES Classic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's a uh, little brother right here. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, he unboxed the NES Classic uh, ASMR style in the beginning he explained their videos are meant to relax you. Um, and that he doesn't get tingles from it. He, uh, they put him to sleep. And I thought, wow, because I have the worst insomnia on planet Earth, maybe this can do something for me. So I searched ASMR, and um, when the, oh, the first video I came across was Maple ASMR's uh, Nintendo Switch unboxing. And then uh, in the suggestions, um, ASMR Darling's um, Breath of the Wild uh, ASMR gameplay came up. So watch that too. But the first non-gaming uh, ASMR-related video I've seen, um, I believe, uh, was uh, one of GB's uh, With Music videos. It was, it was a black and white one. And um, after all that, I realized, I realized this may be the solution to all my problems. I mean, not all of them, but you know. I mean. <laughs> Every yeah. single Every one. Every single one for life. <laughs> Every single one. Should the ones solved. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. You know, so I, I gotta do this. You know, uh, you, you might get a little embarrassed, but GB, try me. Try tell me, listen, my dude right here is basically he he's done videos that were inspired directly by by some of your stuff. And, and Jeebs, right. if you're watching right now, um, hit my dude up. He he deserves it. If anyone in this community deserves it. It, that's, it's my that's guy, Keith. So. Chris. That's helpful. <laughs> um, he's, he's, he's so good. Um, 
so so you you you're going um and, and I'm noticing the common common thread of of gaming. Yes. And you've always incorporated that into um your videos. Uh, a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, you do a lot of ASMR playthroughs of different games. I saw your uh, Breath into the Wild one. Yes. And uh, you, you did an ASMR roleplay where you're Solid Snake. That's right, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, now, now you talked about a lot of Nintendo games, right? But you, yes. we, we haven't touched on PlayStation games because I grew up. My wheelhouse. Know. Yes. Yeah. So, um, favorite PlayStation <clears throat> games? Okay, go. Um. Metal Gear Solid, um, Jet Moto is a good one. Uh, Tekken is incredible. Um, Crash Bandicoot is really good. I got to yes. I got to play. Uh, I, I stopped by GameStop a few days ago and um, got to play uh, pl play the remake of it. Uh, it's been out for a while. I've been meaning to get it for on um, Steam for so long. Why haven't it's beyond me? <laughs> Maybe I will after this interview. But Crash Bandicoot is very awesome. Um, I really, I really want to try out the Twisted Metal games. I've never played them, but they look so amazing. Nice. They're fun. Did you ever get into, like, Spyro? Um, I haven't really, but I did, I did give it a try when I was at GameStop that time, and, um, and it mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. Um, watching uh, Selkie Spirit play it, though, is amazing. I love oh, yeah. so much. Oh, God, it's so much fun. I put so many hours into the uh, remastered games. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, Spyro was my jam, dude. Um, See, I so I've never owned an original PlayStation. PS2 and PS3 were the only PlayStations I have. I know they can play PlayStation games, but um, most of my PlayStation experiences with the PS2. Ah, uh, let 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 me and Griff walk you through the days of turning on the PlayStation. Right? Okay, you turn it on, right? Actually, my first console was the PlayStation 4. I mean, my first PlayStation console was the 4. Oh, okay. So I'm not, I'm not a PlayStation expert. No, yeah, I um, my wow. my console went uh, Game Boy Color, Advanced, mm. GameCube, yeah. DS, Xbox 360. I basically had all of the Game Boy iterations. Yeah. Up to up to now, I have the Switch. Um, and then in, after that, just Fine. a GameCube, a 360, and now a PlayStation 4. <clears throat> that's so but <sighs> Chris you're going to talk about the epic uh, intro uh, that comes up when you turn on the Playstation right now oh yeah sorry <laughs> that one the, ep the epic intro yeah dude it that's still stuff, touches my like, heart to this day when I see that ah dude I can't even because it's like the Sony thing pops up and then you're like, yeah. And then it has like the little like PlayStation, but it was like the colorful logo back then. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, Loved it was it. so good. I can't decide if. Uh, Never seen it. Oh, <laughs> after we're done with this, search for it on YouTube. It's going to blow your mind. Um, but other intros I absolutely love are um, the Dreamcast intro. It's very dream, yeah. pun intended, um, and uh, and the original Xbox uh, intro. I thought was pretty chill, very very techy. Yeah, nice techy. I tell you what, man. So, what was your favorite role play to do so far? Because you've done a few, mm -hmm. and they're all stupid good. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, Definitely my solid snake one. Um, <laughs> that one, that one is by far my most viewed video. Of course, that one is wild. Yeah, <laughs> of course my Bob's Burgers one is doing pretty well too. I mean, that's that's probably the one that Chris was referring to when he brought up GB because um, that was semi based on uh, that was semi based on <clears throat> GB's in the video. Not entirely. I threw in uh, mostly my own uh, stuff into the mix, but the part where I uh, referenced that um, that. I, I I was actually sick. She she may say it was fine, but I was actually sick. It's she, it was it was a reference to um in her video when she said, "Mommy's upstairs. He think he thinks he's sick, but he's fine." <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> there is a dirty nerdy show link to her Linda video. Cool. Um, awesome. So. Back in the day, uh, when I had my old producer, Katie, shout out Katie, um, 
she had this running joke with GB. They they had this running joke where they would call each other Linda, right? Yeah. And uh, it was to the point where people thought GB's name was Linda. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, it's actually Gabrielle. We were like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> We, it's we actually like, Steve. It's the one female iteration of it. Fact. It is yeah. Steve. I'm sure her name's uh, Steve Gibson, I believe is her name. Steve Gibson. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Um, it's Steve. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to shut up now. Continue, Chris. <laughs> take this Take this train wreck home. Uh, you have me on. The whole thing's going to be a fun little train wreck. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. So... <laughs> So that 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 happened, and then and then she ended up doing the video, and it made me smile because it made me think of that. And then you mentioned that that was an inspiration for you, and I was like, "Aw, that made me think of good old happy memories of the early days of being in the community." Yeah, yeah. I wish I was a part of it then, but I'm here now. Well, you're here now, and I think you made it better. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. That. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let homie uh because I know she's got a question. Oh thanks, buddy. Sure. So all right. What what is your favorite kind of video to do? Because you you do a lot of different most of them tend to be game centric, but in terms of style, they all tend to be you're kind of all over the map. Like what would yeah. you say your favorite is to do? God, you know, um <clears throat> I think the role if I had to pick one, I would say the role plays. Um I only have done a few so far, but the only reason why is because it's so dat gum expensive to keep buying costumes. <laughs> but I love doing mm. but but I love doing voices and um people seem to enjoy that. Do you have a process for for doing those or are you just sort of like let's throw on some makeup and like see what comes up <laughs> um i do it's uh not a very uh nitty-gritty process i just um think of what i generally want to do um maybe jot a few notes of um different beats but everything else is pretty much winged my videos are never full-blown scripted ever mm -hmm. but i do have a general idea of what i'm going to say and what i'm going to do okay cool and they turn out so well. They look so rehearsed and Yeah. See, I do I do practice on camera a bunch when I do when I do role plays. I mean, you got to do that if you're going to do these voices. Um what's one voice that you uh have in the bag that you're ready to to put into a video that you haven't yet? So, I have um I have an old video um where I did some Napoleon Dynamite one-liners and um I uh, left a, co a pinned comment there saying that if that video gets to 25 likes, I will do a full-blown Napoleon Dynamite roleplay. Dresses him, doing the voice, whatever I feel like I want to do. Gosh! Um, of course, in a more an ASMR-friendly tone, so that's going like, to be a challenge. Tina, come get your food. Tina, come get some ham. <laughs> <sighs> you know, that, that kind of shit. Um, <coughs> Me and Griff are about to go make like 25 profiles. Yeah, and... did you get your 25 likes? Did it, have you reached last, that? Last I checked, it was at 18. There's there's a good number of videos I have that have way more likes than that, but at the time I made it, my channel was hella smaller than it is now. It's still small, but it was more All right, so if seven than... people watching this could please find that video and like it, we'd really appreciate it. Yes. Go do We're going to put it in the link below. I'm ho <laughs> I'm hoping it has 20 like uh, 25 likes before this video goes up, but even if it does, please still go like it. I will appreciate that. Big time. Yeah. yeah. Do the nice thing. Be kind. <laughs> like. Be kind. Rewind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you remember that? I miss Blockbuster. Right. I do too. Blockbuster was like <laughs> the jam. Mm -hmm. Guys, what are some of your favorite things from the 90s? Let's, let's do that. We're going to switch gears right here. This bad boy is my favorite thing from the 90s. Mm. I, can't, I can't exactly see it. Ah, oh, oh, Super dude. Mario World. Yes. What about you, Chris? Oh man, the '90s were uh, <clears throat> were my special place, and I remember. Okay, you remember like Big League Chew, right? Yeah, Big League. I remember Chew Big League Chew was was my favorite thing. I used to watch the Dodgers while uh, <laughs> while uh, chewing on the Big League Chew, and uh, I also loved like um like remember like digipets i had one of those yes i um yeah. i had a nano poppy um but most Ooh. most of my peers had gigapets 
Net, net, I had a yeah. Furby. Kind of a, you had a Furby? I had a Furby. I had several Furbies. I, I had, had a, a Furby. I had a grandparent with dementia who never remembered that he'd already bought me a Furby. Oh. So he just kept bringing me Furbies oh every time God. I saw him. I had like five Furbies before he finally stopped. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> it was kind of a nightmare. It wasn't the best case scenario because the best case scenario is no Furbies. Yeah. Someone, someone made a game. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was um, it was kind of a Furby style horror game. Um, <laughs> but I do remember the name that Honest Trailers gave it. Uh, gave it. It was Five Nights at Furby's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be terrifying. Oh I love Five Nights at Freddy's. I haven't played in a while though. Would you say it's like your favorite game? What's your favorite game? Um, well, it's hard to say, but my top three favorite games are super mario world um super mario world i actually have them right here you came prepared, I came prepared. <laughs> link to the past okay oh you really came prepared and golden eye golden eye those are my jams. golden eye sweetness <laughs> we're probably not in sync because of uh because of lag but <laughs> yeah but yeah, it's all good though, because holy crap, I I love that movie and I love that game. Yeah, me too. And and now we get to segue into James Bond, oh, yeah. and that makes me very happy. <laughs> favorite James Bond gadget, K, go. My favorite James Bond gadget, I would have to say is um, is just the DB5 in Goldfinger. It's it's set it set the tone for um all the awesome cars that he had in the future and um yeah. It was amazing, especially especially the um injector seat in his um in in his gear shift. Where he's like injector seat, you joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was that was the best. I really I really loved that. In in Die Another Day, the injector seat button was just part of a lot of the other little little traps he had there but mm -hmm. it doesn't beat having the ejector seat just being in the gear shift with a little red button because you you have that anticipation as he opens it up and he's about to press it there's a lot of suspense and when when the baddie's in there uh, in the car he's just staring blankly not knowing what the fuck's going on you're like oh shit it's gonna, it's gonna go down <laughs> favorite bond girl Favorite Bond girl, um, that would have to be Waylon from Tomorrow Never Dies because she kicks so much ass. Yeah, and that's what I'm about. She, she plays, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the girl from Crouching Tiger, right? Yes. Uh, she also plays oh, yeah. on yeah. Star Trek Discovery, uh, huh. and she's awesome on Star Trek Discovery. I'm telling you, man, she's like 50 now and still like one of like the most pretty people I've ever seen in my life. Good for um, her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she's amazing. And she still kicks butt. Like, mm -hmm. even in Star Trek, I was like, wow. Um, favorite, yeah, bond, uh, favorite movie. What's your favorite movie out of them? Easily Goldfinger. Yeah. Goldfinger is Gold. by far my favorite. I love them all, even the even the crappy ones. Well, none of them are crappy in my opinion, but the crappy ones is in the ones less impressive than than the other. Really? Because I'm pretty sure in one of them he goes to space. That was Moonraker. That was my least favorite. <laughs> it was it was it was ridiculous. Um, Sean Connery was, wasn't even a fan because it was uh, so far removed from what James Bond was all about. Yeah. James yeah, Bond goes to space. Yeah. But that's, you know, it, okay, it, it could work under, like, the right circumstance. <laughs> like Nightfire, but that's a game, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Just yeah, count. see, under the right We can count it. We can count it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's canon, and then there's, like, your head canon, right? So... It counts in my head canon. Um, my go. favorite, my favorite James Bond movie um, from Russia with Love, probably. Um, I love that one. I love the one that had Doctor Quinn Medicine Woman in it. Doctor Quinn Medicine. Do you... Jane Seymour. Oh yeah, Miss Solitaire. That was Live and Let Die. 
Yeah, I love that one. That was a good one too. Um, yeah, man. I I always I'm always gonna call her Doctor Quinn Medicine Woman because that's like what I saw her on when I was a kid. Okay. <laughs> Like, I didn't yeah. know she was a Bond girl until, like, later. And then I was like, oh, holy crap. Yeah. Dr. Quinn. <laughs> I was like, I mean, Dr. Quinn, you Walken, out here wildin'. Christopher is Walken was a, um, was a Bond villain. Oh, oh what? He was. I totally forgot. Yeah, he was Max Zorn in A View to a Kill. Oh, snap. Yeah. There you go. You I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So can you do a Christopher Walken impression? Not very well, but I do okay. <laughs> I need to practice on that. Wow! Can you, I gotta can you have, do one? I gotta have more cowbell. Of course, <laughs> I don't have any, I don't have a cowbell. I'm sorry. I can do I can do a very terrible one, but my That's name right. isn't isn't based on that. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow! It's crazy these things over here. <laughs> I love that. You know. One time the Game Grumps were uh, talking about um, Chris, uh, Christopher Walken. I almost said Christopher not Walken because I, I, I talked to you. And they were about talking you more, about you more often, specifically. More often than, than Christopher Probably. is Walken. But <laughs> one time uh, the Game Grumps were talking about Christopher Walken and um, <laughs> uh, Aaron, Ego Raptor, Hanson thought, uh, thought of a um, game show idea where you're supposed to do bad Christopher Walken impressions. So if Christopher Walken himself went on the show, he would get a zero. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, that's uh that's that's creative. <laughs> I like it. I'm all about it. Yeah. Um So <coughs> what what are some of your plans for the future of Mr. Famcam hmm. ASMR? I know you've been getting into a lot of streaming lately, and you've been yeah. killing it, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Like, for real. It's like, you were, like, so good at streaming. Like, yeah, I really good. enjoyed your Portal 2 stream with uh, Emerald oh. Emerald Rose ASMR. Well, that, thank you. That wasn't a stream, though. That was um, pre-recorded. Um, but, yes. My I bad. Have. <laughs> Never mind that. I rescind my compliments. <laughs> Oh, uh, I deserve it. Um, <laughs> um actually, <laughs> um, actually, it's like a, 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 anyway. <laughs> actually, we recorded it like two days ago, so like it's like not even live. <laughs> Sorry, Griff. <laughs> It like, doesn't count. I got it. Actually, Griff, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> like Adam ruins everything. Impression for you. <laughs> Oh, I love that show so much. Isn't it great? <laughs> yes. Um, What's that? I have no idea what that is. Oh. It's okay. There's a show called. Can I take this one? Because I take have it. a deep passion for this series. Please do. Adam. Adam ruins everything. Is a show. Um, I honestly can't even. Was it on True? True, True TV. TV. It's on True TV. It's from it's, College um, Humor originally. Yeah, it's produced by College Humor, and it's Adam Conover who um, spends the episode just debunking. Um, commonly held views about whatever theme the episode is about. Mm -hmm. so. and what, I, what I really love about that is um, he's done a correction episode, so all the mistakes that they made on the show, they corrected on a whole episode. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the Adam Ruins crime one, and Adam Ruins death is my favorite. Oh one. yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Oh. So the premise is he literally just ruins things. Yeah, he ruins, yeah. He ruins everything, hence the title. <clears throat> yeah, he ba he follows a character around who's like an everyman, and then is like, actually, everything you believed is wrong, and then goes into why it was it's all terrible. Yeah, and he uh, he has that... sources pop up on screen whenever. He yeah, does. and they bring in they bring in like real experts, like actual scientists and mm -hmm. researchers to to back him up. Yeah. And you can always tell that they're real because they're terrible actors and not good on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kinda like me. Oh, you're a you're an ingenue. Don't say that. <laughs> no, you're great. Um <laughs> yeah, uh future. Yes, um, we're totally getting off topic. Right, of yes. Sorry. <laughs> Streaming. Derailed interview. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that this was uh fam cam's interview. <laughs> not uh not Griff. <laughs> All right, um, all right, all right, future. So, uh, yes, yeah, speaking of streaming, um, a couple weeks ago I started streaming on Twitch. I mostly do non-ASMR gaming on that, but I, I do occasionally do ASMR on that. I just um, did my first ASMR stream um, yesterday at the time we're recording this, I think 
two days ago at the time this is going up um but it was it was a lot of fun it, all of it has, has always been fun i do i do plan on um doing some asmr gameplay on the on there like i do on my youtube channel oh yeah cool and one of the ideas i have is something that everybody is advising against oh no but everybody would enjoy most likely dark souls asmr and I've never even played Dark Souls, so it's going to be my oh. first time playing uh, Dark Souls uh, he's gonna, live he's gonna... ASMR. I haven't decided wow. when, but it's coming. So follow me on Twitter and you'll get you'll know. You know, I've <laughs> always wanted to know what it looks like when someone rage quits in ASMR. Yeah. So that'll be new. I, <laughs> oh, dude, that's going to be perfect. I just did I just did a um, Hot Ones challenge with Emerald Rose ASMR, and uh, it was in That ASMR. was funny. Yeah. That was so That was funny. great. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. That was that. that was great. You guys want to see my impression of Keith while he did the Hot Ones challenge? Yes, you'll see it. This is this is my Keith impression. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh look, it's a potato wedge. Wow. Dips it in hot sauce. Eats eats potato wedge. Then he does this thing right here. Did I do? Meanwhile, that? yeah, you yeah, did. You did lot. this thing. <laughs> And then, and then, Emerald and then, was a beast. Yeah, she, she <laughs> literally cannot feel pain. She is a real life Renard. There's another James Bond reference for you. Emerald would do this. She would like eat it, and then she would be like, "Yeah." She, she would shrug her, her shoulders. Eyes. She touched her eyes and still did not freak out. I was impressed. Yeah, she, she um she scares me a little bit, but like <laughs> also I really like it. She's. <laughs> She's scary, but like in like that super hot way. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, I I gotta ask since you know you've done two collabs with her. Do you have any more uh, collabs with the homie in the works? Because I think you two work great together. Thank you. Um, we are planning on doing that in the future. Yes, but we don't have any particular specific plans at the moment. We'll eventually we'll figure out and let y'all know but yes we definitely want to collab again we have you'll have to find something that i'll you'll have to find one of her weaknesses finally just to get even i don't think she has any weaknesses <laughs> oh she does i <laughs> chris has the dirt on everyone it's terrifying <laughs> i i do you guys want the dirt on griff no no that's okay um so no it's okay day. no we don't have to get into this yep no no it's fine it's i'm fine with late. this <laughs> <laughs> too late it's it, it it was in the first one it's gonna be in this one too God. um so we were in a call why the other day this, right why is this the first uh, not the first one you want to explain that oh uh, yeah we want to get into that before we uh <laughs> we got some start shitting on griff <laughs> Oh, okay. So basically, I'm a big dumb, and uh, only the first 15 minutes got recorded because I suck. Uh, but anyway, so we're doing this again. This is our yes. Second, this is this interview is number attempt. two. This is the second one. Now back to that's Greg. why I was more okay. prepared. So we uh, we were in a call, right? No, we weren't. Yeah, we were. No. Well, yeah, and we were though. <laughs> We, we were in a call and we were talking and, you know, and everything was chill, you know, it was, it was getting late. So she was going to bed soon. And then the next thing I know, she's like, ah, like total, like freak out, like turns into like a little child mode. It's and then true. it's, it's, it's very true. I really true. wish I was on that call. And then I'm like, what's wrong? And then she's like, there's a spider. And I was like, so you're a human. You've got the advantage. Yeah. And she's yeah, like, huge I don't know about this. So she like freaks out and then she's like trying to ignore it. And then because I'm an asshole, um, Can't argue right? That. When she's, when she, <laughs> it is true. I agree. Chris is a total sadist. <laughs> clearly, clearly. Right when I, right when she's like going to bed, I'm like, oh yeah, good night. You know, being all nice. And the next thing I'm like, oh, by the way, uh, when you go to sleep and you're like all comfy, 
don't forget about that spider. Good night. And then <laughs> And you know what? He's so proud of himself for that. And I honestly don't remember him saying that. I think I went to bed right afterwards and really wasn't bothered. Also, in my defense, I just moved to California pretty recently. Yeah. I'm from Chicago. Where I come Chicago. from, the bugs reach their bugs reach a certain size and then winter comes and they die. Um, and here that doesn't happen. Yeah. So they become these gargantuan hell monsters, the likes of which I have never seen. And I'm yeah. still getting used to it. That's my defense. See, I grew up but, in California, so I am very used to it. Yeah, I'm I seeing grew- insects the size of which I never even, that I thought only existed in King Kong. I need to visit Chicago and see how tiny the bugs are there. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. They're quite small. I didn't realize how good I had it till I came to LA. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be like, oh, so cute. Chicago doesn't have bugs. They have murder. So it's a trade off. Like- we also have bugs. <laughs> Every city has murder. I feel a need to defend my hometown. Bug you. <laughs> it's only because you're buggable. We don't even uh, make top five for murder per capita. Just throwing that out there. Anyways, back to Keith. Hey. <laughs> Is no, I have one more Chicago. Stream? Huh? I have a Chicago question. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're 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 new to the California area. Yeah, so Cal, what been up? here for like six um, months now. So welcome. Um, you. For almost have you years. have you had proper <laughs> like deep dish in California yet, and is it any good? And would it be as good as Chicago. I'm no. basically I'm asking who is who is better, Chicago or California at the pizza. See, okay, I I have not had deep dish since I moved out here because I don't want to ruin my perception of perfect deep dish pizza from Chicago. Um, but I mean, I think it's honestly, I know there's a rivalry, but I think it's hard to compare. Uh, thin crust pizza to deep dish, which is honestly more kind of like a casserole with pizza ingredients than it yeah. is a traditional pizza, but also still better. Yeah. See, I don't get the deep luxury. dish is amazing. I don't get the luxury deep of deep dish, dish because um, I'm gluten free. So most of <laughs> the pizza I eat is, well, flatbread. You're also vegan too, right? I'm also vegan. That is correct. So, so you'll eat like flatbread with sauce on it, and that's your pizza. My pizza is flatbread with sauce, um, mushroom, pineapple, and olives. Sometimes spinach and onion, and then I drown it in crushed red pepper. That actually sounds amazing. It is. I'm not even gonna front. That actually does sound good. <laughs> like, I, I thought I was gonna be a hater, but like. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds good. You have you have us on your side. <laughs> awesome. Um, Keith was telling me about this burger that they have that's a vegan burger. Yes. It's called the Impossible Burger. Mm-hmm. Like, I've had the Impossible Burger about that? So good. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about that uh, and how you came across that because that sounds bonkers to me. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a veggie burger that um, emulates a, a, a real burger very, very well. I... Um, I, I have been vegan for many, many years, but Does I it still, move? I still, no, <laughs> you, 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 I mean, it can, if you want to make it move somehow, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Like put a little tape recorder in there. I I'm so old, but I put a tape recorder in there and <laughs> fucking play it as you're eating it. <laughs> um, but, um, but no, it put it, the needle on the record. Yes. But the vinyls have made a comeback, bro. Dude, yeah, that I, just means you're a hipster now. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, but it emulates. I'm not a hipster and I love vinyl. Well. That's right. All right. You're just a hipster with disposable income. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, anyways. I, yeah. Sorry. So I, um, <laughs> the, um, the, I've had the Impossible Burger a couple times at the local Cheesecake Factory when they started doing it. Um, a friend of mine from college that I'm still very close with, um, is, is a huge 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 cheesecake factory fan and they don't have one near where he lives so every time he comes down to visit me um we always got to go to the cheesecake factory and uh last time he was down uh they had the impossible burger there so i gave it a shot and mind blown it's good that sounds amazing i will actually i've never had this impossible burger but i will uh I will give it a shot and I will record it 
and I will put it on the Dirty Nerdy Show. Yes. Yeah, and I always get it if it's available because I, I just feel healthier if I get that instead of the red meat. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be healthier, Griff. <laughs> I mean, because you, you know, always, like... You can always go for a turkey burger. There's no such thing as a turkey burger. No, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> turkey burger. <laughs> That's like that's like turkey bacon, and it makes no sense to me because anytime any oh, I like somebody, turkey bacon. Like, turkey bacon is not bacon; it's fucking turkey in a no, bacon. No, it's still sauce. bacon. It's delicious. But it's not though. See, bacon is like, I, I I have my I have my preconceived notion of what bacon is. All right. Well, whatever you want to call turkey bacon, it's yummy. See, even like I'm, I'm about. To- I don't even like Canadian bacon because it's like ham, like. I'm about to confess a major, major mortal sin. Um, Ooh, let's even, hear it. Even when I was a meat eater, I was completely bacon phobic. And it started when um, my sister uh, fried some bacon and she left the pan with the grease there just sitting there. And uh, I got a whiff of it and it was the most foul smell I've ever smelled Ugh. in my life. And it traumatized me for years. So I. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's a good reason. And ever since. That's that's valid. I trust. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the grease popped out on you or something. No, thank God. <laughs> oh, dude. This was only what emotionally happened? traumatic, not physically. Right. Exactly. Well, I mean, I did. I did sniff it. <laughs> One time time when I was a little boy. Of that. Yeah. Go, what's up? <laughs> One time when I was a little boy, my my aunt set me on the on the counter and she like walked away for like two seconds right Mm -hmm. and she specifically told me don't touch the coffee pot it's hot oh no now uh four-year-old me oh god does not listen very well much like 31 year old yeah the 31 year old you doesn't (laughs) just kidding and um am i the only one here in my 20s yes yes (laughs) i'm gonna live forever (laughs) You're not that far away from 30, shush. I'm gonna um, live forever. Anyways, you touched a hot coffee pot after explicitly I, being told not to? I did, and then I fell off the counter and it was bad. Oh, <laughs> I, I've, 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 I've had a lot of like stupid people injuries. Uh, wow. Yeah, um, broken steel rods in my back. Um, wow. Like dumb things like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think the only the only stupid person injury I have had. I mean, I've had a ton, but the, the most significant one was um, I wasn't really stupid on my part. But um, when I was in second grade, somebody shoved me into a urinal and I face played into it and shit my two front teeth Ooh, right here. That's so mean. Yeah, right here uh, on the corners. Of my that's two front horrible. Teeth are fake. Did you find out who did it? No, to this day, I don't know who did it. You should find out and then fuck them up. Can I swear on this? I should have asked first. Does it cool if I, I mean, curse? I've been I've been cursing on this. I don't give a shit. Yeah. All right, I guess the, that answers that. I remember I remember watching your interview with um Emerald <laughs> Rose and she asked if she, if she can curse and and um Chris said, "You can say whatever the fuck you want." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you do me? Oh my god. Oh, this is Christopher not walking. <laughs> No, that's Chris Walker. It's half, it's half there. You see, I, I need practice for you, bro. Yeah, that I, I, my, my voice is is uh, is like radio DJ on all the cocaine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Full, dis- yeah. full disclosure: I've never done cocaine in my life. I have heart problems. I can't do that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what my voice is in like. Spirit, uh, all the cocaine yes. and spirit. All the cocaine and spirit. <laughs> You're rocking back and forth. You don't need any cocaine. You're already <laughs> wired up enough. <laughs> right? No. Fun fact. You want to know why I do that? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm being open and honest in this interview. Mm-hmm. I do that because uh, th- while I don't have steel rods in the lower part of my back anymore, I still have them in the upper part of my back. Mm-hmm. And um, it hurts like a lot when I've been sitting up for a while. So what I do is mm-hmm. I'll like rock back and forth, and it like eases up like oh. pain. So I oh, got it. Brilliant. Have to take like um, medications and things. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So that's why I do that. 
All right. Yeah. Well, I, but, I feel like a jerk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> why do you feel like a jerk? <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of people for doing things anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They might have I mean, steel I, rods in their back. I, I didn't think you were making fun of them. Fair. No. no it, it, will it make you feel better if I tell you how I broke the steel rods in my back? Probably not, no. <laughs> oh, wait, you told me this story already. Yes, if you really you, want to go I don't tell think it. you told me, bro. <laughs> I've never told you, Keith. I don't, I don't think you have. And even if, I, even if I have, I forget. And even if I didn't, you wouldn't the forget the story. The doesn't know. <laughs> okay. Um, oh man, I can't believe I'm telling this story on air. I've never told either. this story. I've never told this story on air. Oh my god. Um, yeah. It's too late to go back now. Everyone's expecting it. I mean, you can yeah. edit it. Nope. No editing. We're doing this. It's happening. Right. Come on, Chris. Hashtag unedited. It's your moment. It's your time to shine. <laughs> okay. So about five, maybe six years ago, right? Um, I was seeing this girl. And she would fly down, and and we would spend weekends together, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm I'm being more vague than I was with you, Griff. Can you tell? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she would she would fly down, and she was like way like out of my league. Like like uh, okay, every girl is out of my league, but like I don't really believe in leagues, to be honest. Yeah. But this this one is like well, okay, when you're disabled. You know, um, y you kind of just accept that people aren't really checking for you. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, this girl checked for me. And I was like, okay, this is life. Cool. Um, and then, <laughs> uh, so anyway, she would fly down and we would spend weekends together. And it wasn't our first, you know, time doing anything or anything like that. But we were, we were doing stuff. And I guess I got excited. Next thing I know, uh, something snaps in my back. And I'm like, Oh shit, right? And I have the split like decision to make. I have a split second decision to make. Do I stop and tell her that we need to go to hospital or do I hold it down for the rest of the cripples that ain't getting laid and be like, listen, I'm a fish, right? <laughs> and I am not a quitter, okay? So we finish. Prop, I look bro. at her and instead of saying an like instead of saying like, yo, that was amazing. You're amazing. I was like, yo, we need to go to the hospital. Turns out that's not what a woman wants to hear. My bad. So <laughs> we, we, we go to the hospital and um, doctor's like, uh, so what did you guys do? And, and my mom's like a, like a good Christian lady. So I didn't want to like put Your mom was there while, while you were at the ER? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so I didn't want to put any shame on her, right? And um, and so I was like, we was cleaning, and and now my back hurts, and uh, so they they take me to X-ray, right? And I had busted some steel rods in my back, and the doctor's like, uh, we're gonna have to remove them. Luckily, it's not in any like area where you're gonna have like like permanent like damage or anything because with the steel rods are they just there for is for when like the spine heals and then they serve no other purpose mm -hmm. uh it was just really really uncomfortable and uh so he sends me home with all of the drugs and that was great and then um and then she had to fly back to where she lived and so i went and had the surgery like the next week and uh, it was great because anytime a nurse came in and she was like kind of hot, I was like, yo, check the chart and ask me how that shit happened. So I... and... You idiot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like if anyone else heard something snap in their back, that'd be like, all right, I think it's time to go. I think I should go. I think snaps in the back are a bad thing. You know Chris better than that. <laughs> Me? No. Like I'm I was supposed like... to be like, mm, pretty sure that was my spine. Maybe I should pay some attention to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. But okay, here's here's like my, my, my train of thought in that, right? Uh, Worst case scenario, you get a spinal injury, your legs stop working. Mine already don't work, so I was like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the worst case scenario for a spinal injury. <laughs> well, in in my uh in my in my mind that was like, let's let's you know, you know what I mean? God, I was like, I'm 
what are they gonna do? Like re cripple me? Like I <laughs> I didn't care. Like, <laughs> Uh, oh my god <laughs> anyways on that note back to fam cam <laughs> oh yeah this is his interview right. uh, yes it is <laughs> <laughs> do you have any horrible stories about breaking your back creep keith <laughs> you were about to call me creep <laughs> yeah i was about to call you chris and then i realized nope wrong wrong moron <laughs> yeah we're talking about this moron right here hello <laughs> Sorry, which do we want to talk to now? No, I've never, okay. I've never broken my back. The the worst injury I've ever had was chipping my two front teeth. Other other than that, I've um I've had a lot of um a lot of physical mishaps, but none of them resulted in major injuries except for that. Thankfully, I feel like if we get a picture of his insides, it'll just be pepper stuff. Like it'll just be like <laughs> it'll just be hot sauce. Yeah, and yeah. potatoes. <laughs> my uh. Well, I went to the doctor once, and they found a little bit of um, blood in my capsaicin streams. What does that mean? Capsaicin is the oil and peppers that make them spicy. Okay. It's not as funny when you have to explain it, Griff. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I didn't go to medical school. I went to an art school. <laughs> I mean, Art school. I mean, I did too. Mm. I, went, I went to school for computer graphics. Yeah, the only thing they taught me was how to focus a camera. <laughs> yeah, well, I got kicked out of school because I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got kicked out um, because uh, I, I, I was I had had a bunch of surgeries at the time, and apparently, uh, when you don't show up, they get mad at you, so <laughs> they kicked me out. That's unfair. Yeah, that really sucks. Yeah, but it's all good. Like, I, you know, I'm in entertainment, so, like, what the fuck do I need that for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair, um, fair, fair. So you, yeah. went to, you went to school for computers? Um, for computer graphics, mainly. Um, minored in art and um, computer science. I was a double minor. But don't ask me computer science shit. I hated it. Much respect, <laughs> much respect for people who can do it. In fact, uh, a couple Fair. of my best friends are um, computer scientists. But I myself, it, it just wasn't my thing. Um, but, but computer graphics was, and that was my major. And uh, I apply a lot of what I learned and uh, the experience I had since into a lot of what I do on my channel, especially my thumbnails. And um, the and the effects, dude. And, and the yeah, effects. they're good. Yeah, thank you. They, I, uh, I mostly do those in After Effects. Um, I've also, I've also uh, made Chris's new intro. If you've seen that. No way, seriously? Yeah, the, the yeah. new intro in this in this video, I made it. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're not in probably it. Not gonna, no, I'm probably not going to watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Oh, you don't I'm like to watch yourself? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, also, uh, I'm made, with you. I also made a new intro for um, uh, our boy D. Michael ASMR. He's cool. I want to get him on the show. You should. He's really chill. One of the chillest dudes ever. Is chillest a word? Maybe. Uh, yeah, why it not? is now. I think of I think of funnest when I say chillest. Shakespeare made up words. It's true. It's true. Well, there's some debate about that, but uh, some, I mean, some of the words some of the words uh, are he just, canonized words. Up. How's that? So, some of the words are just straight up. It's better. Fair. I I I am a big like Shakespeare fan, yeah. so I'm one of those people that's like, well, actually. <laughs> Oh my god, if I'm doing If one of you well actually is me one more time, I am turning this interview around. Oh, are you? She's good. Well, actually, she's going to turn this interview around. All right, around. bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like you are going to turn the tables and take over the interview. No, I was making a joke like, I will turn this car around. You're right, it isn't as funny when you have to explain the joke, Keith. <laughs> Touché! <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy i tell you what man we, we 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 have to discuss uh the the um <clears throat> i i blanked so uh griff <laughs> yes <laughs> do something i blank okay. all right ask um me ask, yeah okay ask me some what what uh what do you have coming up uh for your channel that you can tell us about 
Um, I'm I uh, I have a couple uh, drawing videos in the mix that I plan. Which, yeah, boy. Yeah. Um, recently, I did a collab with the legendary Minx Laura One Two Three, where she and I drew each other. Um, nice. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna draw a couple uh, a, a couple more. I want to make into a series, but I have a couple more um, people in the mix uh, that I'm gonna draw. Um, one is um, Laura's friend, God the Good One. If you don't know who he is, check him out. He's hilarious. Uh, okay. He he wears he wears a white mask and has like a big cur curly wig. And, oh, uh, not ominous at all. <laughs> and uh, the um, and the other one is our oh Chris. Okay, so so I have a thir three in the mix now. Um, but uh, but but the next one is our friend Becky ASMR, who um, who I just brought into our group weekly ASMR. She's cool. Yeah, which I uh, which I which we'll explain in a bit. And uh, the third one, as of right now, will be. Christopher not walking. Why not? I'll, I'll totally draw you, man. Hell yeah! <laughs> and Griffey, if you want me to draw you, I'll draw you too. You, you gotta get the wheelchair. <laughs> Why not? Just draw me like one of your French girls, okay? Like, uh... Which one? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you gotta get the chair perfect, right? You know what I mean? Like, like my, my chair is like purple and like the front wheels light up and you got to get that like, like sickness right in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Down, you got to get that, make that sickness. shit look fire. You know what I mean? You got to make it, matter of fact, embellish it a little bit. I want you to make it look like my chair is like a throne. Okay. And like, I'm like the king of like interviews. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Okay. And then I'm gonna have it. Chris, you I'm gonna have, to have write it. This shit down for me because there's no way I'm gonna remember all that. And then I'm gonna have it stitched on like the back Wait, of like it's not my. Done. Oh God. <laughs> and then that way, like even when I'm not in my chair, I'm in my chair, bro. <laughs> it's fire right there, bro. Even if you're not in your chair, you're in your chair, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see what Shit's fire, that. son. Okay. <laughs> the realist right there. All right. Well, back to our Keith fan cam ASMR interview, Chris. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I have been all over the place today, but it's been fun. It's I okay. like this. That's what we do. Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> but so, so you're eating. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of sort of already did eating, not really, but kind of um, in my 25 um, question challenge, um, GB's 25 uh, ASMR question challenge. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. For the question, um, what's your least favorite trigger and do it? Um, I said ear eating and because I don't have a um, 3DO, I only have the Blue Yeti well, and it's at Tascam, which I still need to figure out the settings for it. Mm -hmm. But... This is what I did. <laughs> Can we get a gif of that, please? <laughs> Someone do that for us. You're welcome, internet. Ear eating triggers this, like, get the hell away from me response in me. Yeah. It's just, it's too much. It's too, it's too intimate. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like the ones where they, like, touch you, where they're like, do I have permission to touch you? No. No, you don't. <laughs> Yeah. get away from me yeah, yeah see it's not even it's not even the intimacy thing um that bothers me i don't really find it that intimate i know a lot of people do but what bothers me about it is just the sound is weird as hell for me that's fair yeah it is also kind of an odd sound yeah i like the ear massage videos those are yes, nice the ear massage are... videos i absolutely love I like those as long as it's not under the pre as long as they're not being like i'm massaging your ears because then i it, it 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 triggers the get get the fuck away response but if it's just like here is my 3do and i'm going to do this to it i can i like that <laughs> the don't, the ear massage then, thing uh, Griff, don't always watch my saint patty's day video because um in that so in my saint patty's did a video um our friend miko asmr uh did a video where she um where you're at we're at a party a saint patty's day party <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, some other asmrs in the background she's like talking to them off camera and i was one of them and um um, she gave me the persona that I was an asshole and a klepto. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a sequel to that where um, she caught me stealing from her basement. And as 
as punishment, I have to take care of the person she was talking to because they're hungover and it's like 2 a.m. And um, <laughs> one of the things I do is I take rags that, that I stole from her basement and I brush the uh, I, I brush the two blue Yetis that I put up uh, aside the camera behind it. Those are the ears mm-hmm. and I and I brush them with the with the with the rags. Why are you yeah, taking yeah. nasty ass rags from basements and then putting them on people's ears, man? Because it sounds good, Chris. I have a problem, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still pretty new to ASMR, so I don't know. Maybe I'll come around on the personal attention videos, but for right now, I just like it's too much for me. I can't handle it. That's fair. I I, I I'm with you. I'm I'm on the fence about like certain things, right? There mm-hmm. there are certain triggers that I'm like, oh, I don't like this, and then there's other triggers. It's like, hey, this looks kind of nice. Yeah. Everybody's different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what about so maybe you, I'll Griff? get over my hangups. What about what, me? What about you, Griff? Uh, what, what are some of your favorites? Um, so I, I actually discovered within the last couple of days that I think my all-time favorite trigger is the sound of rain. Um, I was watching. Um, I was watching. Uh, Shani Ismar has an alien abduction video, hmm. which, which again was like too much personal attention for me. But it was. She has rain sounds in the background, and I really. Oh, that I, I really liked that. Um, and then also a lot of, depending on, uh, depending on the artist, uh, their voice, like soft spoken or whispering, um, mostly does that for me. Kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, I found ASMR when I realized that, um, that Bob Ross and the reason I liked, uh, the joy of painting so much was because it was Beat ASMR. The devil out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I Bob really Ross. wish someone, I really wish someone would make a joy of painting video where they take all of the, uh, where they take out the part where he beats the brush against the, the easel. Cause like the rest of it is like so good and serene. And then suddenly you're hearing this loud you know, there's, sound. There's a few really good, um, Bob Ross, uh, role plays. Um, like, um, uh, whispers red did one where she was Barb Ross. <laughs> yes she 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 had an afro wig on and everything and um heather feather uh did one uh where um she has an alter ego um named um dark feather where she, uh is like her super emo sister <laughs> and um she's about to go on uh because bob uh and paint because bob ross couldn't make it and um uh dark feathers talking with uh with um with real Heather Feather, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> offset before she goes on, and uh, mm-hmm. and she's like, um, uh, I got you, I got you some coffee, and she's like, I don't I don't drink co- I cannot do Heather's voice to save my life, but I don't drink coffee, and she, and then Dark Feather's like, it's black like your heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, love Heather I Feather. miss Heather Feather. Right. She was so good. Yeah. Does she not do make content anymore? She kind of just disappeared. No. Oh. I heard. Yeah, I heard she... uh, there were a lot of harassers that have been um, keeping her off of it or something like that. I mean, oh, that's take, awful. Take that with a grain of salt. I don't, I don't know. If that's true. Rumors are rumors, but I mean, I believe it though. Yeah. That's it's that's probably really true. shitty. <laughs> it's probably true. There's a lot of there's a lot of weirdos around here. Yeah. Um, there were a Jeez. lot of there were a lot of. Uh, Damn it! There were a lot of weirdos um, on my first ASMR stream on Twitch, which I don't know how because I just fucking started on that platform. <laughs> oh, you got yeah. some trolls? Yeah, I did. Look yeah. at you coming up in the world. I'm. I will not. You know you've made it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna repeat anything that 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 they said though. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, because yeah, they're 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 bad people and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, another trigger for me is uh, like the slow hand and finger movements, but I think that works for just about everyone. Yeah, I like those because you don't yeah, even have to listen to them. Yeah, you could just you could just put it on the TV and then like fall asleep. It's nice. That's pretty great, man. ASMR, man, so watch, cool. I can watch ASMR and listen to Metallica, and I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Keith. Uh, this has been an absolute pleasure to do this again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you so much for letting us do this again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, we we really do appreciate it. Uh, Griff, thank you again for coming on again. Yeah. And Anytime. Just, 
being dope. Uh, I, I truly appreciate it. And uh, well, Keith, where can the people find you on social media? Um, of course, you can find me on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash famcamasmr. Um, my, uh, I'm on Twitter. My uh, Twitter handle is at, at Famcam ASMR. That's, um, where I'm the, by far the most active. Um, yeah. I also, I'm also on Instagram handle is yeah. Famcam ASMR. Shocker. Um, and, um, I'm on Twitch, um, as I mentioned before, th there my handle is Famcam360 because I don't just do ASMR there. I also do non-ASMR gaming on there. Um, I was going to have my handle just be Famcam, but some jackass took it. So I had to add the 360. To Those that. jerks. <laughs> That's Those assholes. Whenever, whenever, th whenever Famcam is taken, this is the case on uh, Origin too. Whenever Famcam is taken... I add the 360 to it um, because of Xbox 360, even though I've never owned any Xbox in my life. But I played. So a lot your of Twitch is based on lies. <laughs> I played. I, I played a lot of Xbox on on friends' consoles, though, and I'm super I, stoked about Halo coming to PC. Oh yeah, that's gonna be freaking fire. Yeah. Um. But. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank for, you. Oh, for, one for, more. for coming on Facebook. I forgot oh, to mention that because I never really use that. But after this, I'm going to start using it more. Um, that's Famcam ASMR as well. Yeah. All right. Famcam ASMR all the way around except for Twitch. What's up? Um, <laughs> so, that's right. Um, if you wanna if you wanna follow me on on Twitter, you can do that at Chris Not Walking. On Instagram thank at you. Christopher Not Walking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Griff, you can't follow her anywhere because she's a fucking ghost. Yeah, I'm uh, not on social media. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, it, it, but you know she's 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 cool. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on. Um, guys, uh, this has been great. Um, my name is Christopher Not Walking. This is the Dirty Nerdy Show. That's Griff. That's Fam Cam ASMR. Stay chill, Christopher everyone. Christopher Not Walking. TDNS, what up? We out. I'm gonna go Bye. watch WrestleMania. It's gonna be fire, and we out of here. Peace. <laughs>